Once upon a time, in a remote corner of the Earth, nestled between an active volcano and an eternally glittering lake, there lay a temple. This was no ordinary temple. Oh no, this was the Sacred Suds Temple, the holiest and most inexplicably sparkly place known to humankind. It was here, and only here, that dishwasher tablets were born. Every dishwasher tablet ever made had to undergo the same sacred and bizarre ritual, as ancient as the concept of cleanliness itself. The journey began in the depths of the temple's underground chamber, where the tablet monks, clad in robes woven from microfiber cloth, gathered the rarest and purest ingredients, fragments of soapstone mined by moonlight, a pinch of dried unicorn tears, harvested ethically, of course, and a small, mysterious powder known only as Squeakium. Legend has it that Squeakium was discovered thousands of years ago when a monk accidentally sneezed into a pot of water while holding an unwashed plate. The plate emerged spotless, with a gleaming brilliance so intense that the monk briefly went blind. From that moment, the sacred formula was protected by an unbreakable oath and a really complicated password. Once the ingredients were mixed in the great bubble cauldron, the concoction began to fizz and swirl in hypnotic patterns, emitting a sound not unlike a distant choir of angels gargling. At this moment, the high priest of hygiene emerged. He carried a golden ladle, polished to an almost dangerous level of reflectivity, and stirred the mixture precisely 47 times counterclockwise and three times clockwise. Any deviation would result in the creation of mildly offensive-smelling candles instead of dishwasher tablets. The real magic, however, happened during the blessing of the sparkle. This was no small feat. The monks gathered in a perfect circle, each holding a dish covered in the grime of a thousand dinners. They chanted the ancient mantra, Grease, grime, stubborn tea stains, be gone, for the power of tablet compels you. As the chant reached a crescendo, the temple's roof opened, revealing the night sky. A single beam of moonlight struck the cauldron, infusing the tablets with celestial energy. This energy, the monks claimed, was what gave the tablets their mystical ability to remove even the most sinister lasagna residue. But it wasn't over yet. The tablets, now shimmering like miniature galaxies, were carefully placed on silk pillows and carried to the chamber of packaging. This chamber, incidentally, was guarded by a ferocious yet surprisingly friendly llama named Gary. The monks believed Gary's approval was vital for the tablet's success. If Gary spat on a tablet, it was deemed unworthy and used as a doorstop instead. The final step involved the monks performing the Dance of Distribution, a ceremonial jig that symbolized the tablet's journey to households across the world. Once the dance concluded, the tablets were packaged with a tiny sprig of mint for good luck and shipped out by carrier pigeons wearing tiny fedoras. And that, dear listener, is how dishwasher tablets are made. So the next time you load your dishwasher, remember, somewhere in the world, a llama named Gary is watching over your plates and a celestial beam of moonlight blessed your sparkling clean cutlery. Dishwashing is not just a chore, it's a sacred ritual. Treat it with the reverence it deserves.